Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre talking to you today about the O'Neill Hyper Freak Comp Winter Wetsuit for winter 2015 into 2016. Uh, okay, so those of you that know about the uh, O'Neill Hyper Freak, uh, we're sort of quite interested to see what uh, the difference is between last year and this year, because the Hyper Freak was only really introduced a couple of years ago, um, basically as a very lightweight performance wetsuit, um, so really stripped down. Uh, not too much sterile lining, taping or anything that weighs the suit down, just really good quality techno butter neoprene uh, and uh, minimal panelling uh, and just basically ultimate performance and stretch. So that suited a summer suit really, really well. And obviously that went across into the winter suits and it went down a storm. You know, people that essentially maybe aren't surfing water as cold as maybe like kind of like the North Sea and sort of like, you know, six or seven degrees, or maybe just people that don't feel the cold, that don't go in for that long, or for people that, yeah, as I don't feel the cold and stay really, really active. It's just basically an ideal wetsuit. And the neoprene, the Techno Butter neoprene is so good, it does keep you warm, but because it is a stripped down wetsuit, basically, it's not gonna be warm as, say, something that's thermal lined with loads of sort of uh, insulating properties. So the Hyper Freak uh, came across last year, as a winter wetsuit, it was really, really popular, really well priced. I think it was about 175 quid, uh, and it flew off the shelves. You know, it was really popular here. Uh, we had the chest entry system, uh, and then what's happened then uh, is they've basically had a little shift around in the sort of uh, series of wetsuits, and uh, the Hyper Freak has changed again for this winter. Um, so what you had this year was the introduction of the Psycho One series in a chest sip. Uh, so it used to predominantly just be a back entry wetsuit. Uh, and now it comes in a back entry and a chest entry, which we've done a separate video on. And uh, that's kind of, uh, it mirrored the Hyper Freak a bit too much, it's a bit too close, you know, just 100% techno butter neoprene, not too many thermal properties, uh, more of a performance wetsuit, so it's a bit too similar. So what they've done is done the Psycho 1 for around the price point of just over £200, and they've changed the Hyper Freak again. Okay, so the Hyper Freak for winter now is O'Neill's punt at a zip-free wetsuit. So if you've sort of uh, been following any of the wetsuit technology, uh, the whole zip-free thing has become a legitimate style of wetsuit, especially for sort of the likes of Billabong and Ripcar, who've done the flash bomb and zip-free versions, was taking off really, really well. And they're really good suits, having sort of own one myself, a zip-free suit. Fantastic, really, loads of flexibility. And uh, yeah, just a nice idea. Uh, and one less thing to go wrong on a wetsuit. Um, so... The Hyper Freak has now sort of come into the, for the winter anyway, is going to be the sort of Hyper Freak comp is going to be the chest, uh, sorry, the zip free wetsuit. So they're not doing a chest zip wetsuit, they're going to leave that to the Psycho 1. So the Hyper Freak comp, zip free wetsuit, uh, and then it's probably going to go back into a chest zip style suit for next summer. So it's really more of a winter thing. So, it's carrying on the same ethos, in, a set, in essence anyway, which is meaning that it's going to be a performance lightweight wetsuit. And uh, that's really gone to another level with this suit for this year. When you actually pick up this wetsuit, it is by far the lightest winter wetsuit I have ever felt. For some people that's going to be a really good thing. Obviously, uh, people that hate wearing wetsuits nice, like to stay really mobile in the water. They move around a lot. Maybe they don't feel the cold as much, or maybe they don't go in as long. This suit is absolutely ideal. So for sort of people that really just want to sort of chuck on a wetsuit and not feel like they're wearing one, this is just going to be perfect. Those are the sort of guys you know they don't wear gloves or hoods. Um, so the actual suit itself, zip free. I will talk you through the suit. It's 100% Techno Butter 2 neoprene, which is the pretty much the most uh, lightweight, quickest drying neoprene on the market. It's got 80% uh, or sorry, 80% less cotton than the actual sort of weave over the lycra on the suit, making it super super lightweight, making it really quick to dry, and also making it really flexible and soft. Okay, so it's 100 weight, 100% whole of the suit is made from that material. They're not messing around with any sort of uh, unnecessary panelling, so no smooth skin, no sort of thermal lining on the inside. It's just basically one big piece of neoprene wherever they can do it, stitched down the side, not interrupting with any sort of movement of the body to give you uninhibited stretch throughout the entire wetsuit. Sort of, uh, you get that around the sort of uh, uh, shoulders there, under the arms, there's just no uh, stitching at all. And then one pre-bent uh, steam, steam running down the arms, so just loads and loads of flexibility. Uh, it's a 5.4, so you've got 5mm on the lower body, uh, and then you get the 4mm around the upper body. Okay, And uh, as I say before, 100% Techno Butter Neoprene, and it's really hard to convey exactly how soft and lightweight this suit is. Uh, the entry system then, 
is going to be it's uh, basically the uh, zip free entry system which means that it's just stitched the whole way across the top panel of the suit which is in essence is actually stitched over the inside of the wetsuit so if I open up here on the inside you find the actual sort of uh, wetsuit itself and then the chest entry system is stitched over the top in essence which basically means if any water does come in through the collar or up through the side rather than coming into the actual suit it's met with the inside of the suit itself and then drained out through the side or through the little um, sort of drain hole around the back of the wetsuit there which you can see okay so that chest piece is actually sewn over the top okay meaning that you've got to get in through here which kind of seems um, intimidating when you look at it and think, how, how am I going to get in here but when you actually sort of open it up like this there's so much stretch in the neoprene it's actually really easy to get in and out once you get the hang of it he says and basically the way that I do it is you just reach inside the wetsuit and turn it inside out so it's almost like a pair of trousers like that and what you do is you pull it up and, and up and over your body. It is definitely harder to get into than a standard chest zip and definitely much harder than a back zip. Um, so it's only going to sort of suit people that are sort of maybe a little bit more uh, sort of happy to sort of uh, wriggle around a bit more and stretch about a bit more to get the suit on. But once you're actually in the suit, the rewards are really good. Obviously, you've got no back zip on the wetsuits, which gives you a freedom of movement throughout the whole back panel of the wetsuit. So uninhibited stretch right throughout the lumbar and back region. So if you're moving around a lot and you're very sort of dynamic in the water, you know that's really going to help uh, your muscles stay more active for more for longer. And then through the chest of the suit, obviously you've got no zip across here, and the, again it just gives you complete movement throughout your chest, throughout your chest. So when you're arching your back, especially for surfing, rather than having the restriction of a zip across your chest, you just don't have anything. So it's literally just being like having on no wetsuit at all, or having on a 3-2, it feels fantastic. Um, all of the seams are basically ergonomically designed to match the contours of the human body to make sure that you're not um, sort of restricted in any way, and that even like around the bottom of the uh, seam here on the lumbar, it's done in a V-shape to make sure that it's got four-way stretch properties, so when you're bending forward and backwards, you don't feel any restriction. So the suit, once you have it on, should feel absolutely amazing. Um, obviously the suit itself is uh, fully sealed, glued and blind stitched, so stitched uh, on the outside of the suit, glued on the inside and then flat taped with a set techno butter tape throughout the entire inside of the wetsuit. So that means you can't feel any glue, rough seams or anything against your skin. Again, you've just got smooth techno butter neoprene against your body and that'll be really good at keeping out water in the suit as well. Uh, the knees are the standard Duraflex knee pads, uh, specially made material just to stop it wearing through and that's uh, pretty much industry standard on the knees of most wetsuits these days. Um, the suit comes in a 4-3, so it's sort of autumn and spring, or for some people that are really super hardcore and don't mind wearing a 4-3 in winter, they are out there. Uh, on the inside of the suit, I'll turn it inside here and have a look. It's not, as I say, it's not a huge amount going on in terms of uh, technology, so normally when we turn a suit inside out, you might have like some crazy thermal lining, you know, this, that and the other, sort of taping on the seams, liquid taping here, there and everywhere. But the suit, again, is just all about being as lightweight as possible. So you've just got that lightweight Techno Butter 2 uh, neoprene with the techno, the techno Butter 2 taping on the inside of the suit as well. And that's the whole way through. The difference between Techno Butter and the Techno Butter 2 is essentially um, very, very minimal. Uh, but basically that purple material. Um, it's just better at not trapping sand. Um, it's one of the key things where you used to get sort of a lot of sand build up in the grooves of the wetsuit. Not exactly what they've done, but that doesn't really happen with the suit. So it stays, uh, again, lighter and uh, cleaner. And also, it's less prone to sticking to any sort of Velcro. Which is good with some suits, but obviously this won't have any because it's zip-free, so less important. But this is the Techno Butter 2, the whole way through. Really, really lightweight and flexible. Okay, so that is pretty much everything going on with the Hyper Freak zipperless wetsuit. Again, as with all suits, due to sort of a, a worldwide trend, uh, it's got a little bit more expensive this year, um, pretty much with the whole of the uh, O'Neill range and Rip Curl range as well. Uh, but uh, definitely value for money in terms of a really, really lightweight wetsuit. And uh, uh, definitely one to sort of go for if you really hate wearing a wetsuit, even in winter. Worth now having a little look at our Psycho 1 video for the chest zip and uh, back zip, just to sort of see the differences between this and that particular wetsuit. Uh, so if you're looking for something that might be a little bit more heavily insulated then you might gravitate towards the Psycho 1. Uh, but uh, this is the O'Neill Hyper Freak zipperless wetsuit for fall 2015 into winter 2016.